Good morning, everybody. Um, I'm still got a little bit of that cold. <clears throat> I'm feeling better today than I did the other day, but uh, my voice is still not back to its uh, regularly scheduled sound. So please bear with me. Sorry about that. Um, I'm going to once again do a daily pattern from patterncollections.com. I do not use an app. I just go using my phone to patterncollections.com. On the home page, I scroll down to pattern focus. And then I scroll down to today's pattern, which, uh, let's see, is this one. And then I just touch on it so that it makes it nice and big for me. Oop. Uh oh, that didn't go in the right place. Oh, I touched on there. She's uh, this one here. Apparently, is also in a book called Ancient Patterns for Modern Tangling. So, if you uh, would like that book, you can just click on that link, and it will take you directly to her selling page. Um, <clears throat> so, this is called Regardu by Sa Simona Cordera. It's another flower-like tangle. It's really pretty. Um, I I actually practiced this on Sunday when I was doing my uh, my personal notebook at at church, and I found it easier to not follow these particular steps. Um, they have it showing you do step number one is this little S curve and step number two is doing this kind of bigger curve like this which makes this petal on this side and then doing it again on this side but for me personally I combined them all into one step and I made this U shape and then I did these little wings here I found that to be easier for just personally for me. So that's how I'm going to draw it. I'm going to show you how I was drawing it. And then uh, step four is this little triangle in the middle. Step five, you can put these little rays or little things here. And step six is to make some auras in there. Or you can leave them empty and, and fill it with a gem or, or fill it with any other uh, pattern, actually. Um, it's really pretty. I like it a lot. Um, so I'm just going to play with it. Uh, I don't have my, my colored pencils with me. Or I might be tempted to fill it in with a bit of a gem. But I'm not going to do that. Excuse me, I didn't get a piece of paper ready. I apologize. So I'm going to continue with this string number 26 so I'm going to put the circle here and a circle here and a circle here um, so that's where I'm going to base my my three uh, of these patterns so what I did is is let me zoom in a little bit is I Instead of doing this, this one as one shape like that, and then doing it again, I found it easier just make a big U like that. And then one around like this and like that. To me, that looked the same and it was easier to draw. I had fewer steps. And then sort of a triangular shape like that. And pretty much that's it. You can then embellish as you feel led. I'm going to put another one here. Like that. And I'm going to put one here. Like 
something like that. And I feel like, I feel like I want at least one more behind or something behind. I don't know. I want something coming out here. Maybe I will make some kind of like stem. Uh, maybe I need a border. I didn't think I needed a border, but now I'm thinking I need a border. But I'm going to do it in pencil. I actually want my thing to stick outside of it. Like that. Should have done it that way. Come down this direction. It's too late now. I did it this way. So I'm going to make it have... a stem like that I feel like there's needs to be something up there though I need one that's really like closed like it's almost not quite open I like that Is better. It needed it needed something up there. And I'm thinking maybe going to kind of embellish as I feel I had to do. I don't know. Not exactly sure what I'm doing here. I want to erase. I should have already done that. I'm going to erase these circles. I should probably erase my border too, but that's okay.
Just doing some random embellishments. Something. I'm just going to leave that one. I feel like that one just wants to be left alone. I feel like they want to be a little darker right here. Okay. I think that's it. I think that's, that's what it's telling me to do. And then, oh, I'm going to sign. And then I'm going to get my pencil out and I'm going to get my shading in. Sorry for the squeaky table. The squeak has come back. I told you the other day that. Uh, we had uh, some moisture in the air. <clears throat> well, moisture is gone. I'm surprised the table's still squeaky, but it's not as squeaky as it was yet the other day. So, actually, I think it's drying up. But now we have wind. Uh, I've got this lovely, lovely wind. Which actually wouldn't be too bad, except for it's doing a number to my sinuses here. They're already clogged. And the pressure is just, it keeps, I can feel it. I can feel it in my sinuses coming and going as the, as the different wind gusts happen. Just putting a little bit of pencil where everything overlaps. I'll use my blending stump to pull that down. I think I want uh, some in here like this. I think that would be like overlapping like a petal 
That's how I see it anyway. Okay, let's give that a go. Not going to put any extra pencil there, but I'm going to put a little bit of leftover from the stump on this to kind of round it out. I'm sorry if I went off screen. here there Can you believe we're almost done with the month? Wow. I don't know where the time has gone. Really don't. Um, I don't know how my schedule's gonna be in the next week. I still haven't gotten confirmation as to when I'm working. So, um, I, uh, I really don't know when I'm going to have time to do my drawings. So I'm going to do my best to keep up with this. But if I get a little behind, you'll know it's just because, you know, life, life has happened to me here. Um, we'll see what happens. There we go. What do you guys think? I think that's all right. So there is Rugardu, or I don't know how to say it, but there it is. It's a fun little, little uh, easy tangle. Uh, you guys have a really great day. I'm going to uh, have some more water. <clears throat> Take a little bit of hot uh, hot lemon and honey and see if I can get some of this throat to go down. I will see you tomorrow. You guys have a blessed day. Be a blessing to someone else. Make the world a better place. Bye.